in this tiny flat we've got here, this uh, three bedroom flat, there's four of us living and working at the moment, which is chaos. Uh, we turned the living room into Tom's bedroom and the smallest bedroom became the office, which is where Harry works at the moment. After three years together at Birmingham University, the friends decided to launch their own company and saw no reason to change their student lifestyles. Gets processed really quickly. Right. And then file. Their site sells the kind of gadgets and gizmos that have become big business with new lads. These are these are the sort of gadgets that we sell, uh, Motorola walkie-talkies. We are avid readers of magazines like FHM and Loaded and, and Maxim. And uh, we kept reading about all these exciting products, the latest gadgets, the, the you know, boys' toys. This is great fun. We found this in America. It's called the Air Hog. You pump it up and you release it and it, it flies for, for ages. We realized there was no place that actually sold these, so we, we thought we'd set up a company to do it. Almost useful, right? <laughs> Firebox has been running for 15 months. It all began in one bedroom in one of their parents' houses. Uh, we had a, a £1,000 investment from my parents uh, very early on. That was about a year and a half ago. So that uh, helped us get to this stage. But now we need a, a huge cash injection to continue growing. I mean, there's the problem is, if they were trying to process 100 orders at a time, you know, would it crash the computer? Yes. At the moment, the site gets about 20 orders a day, and the software written by Tom is just about holding up, for now at least. We're trying to f figure out at what order level, i.e. what number of orders per day, whether it's 100, 1,000 orders per day, my system will collapse and fall over and leave us in big trouble. So it's quite important that we can plan for the future and be able to know the capabilities of the systems we've got so that we can upgrade different parts of it as, uh, as we get time and money in the future. They've survived this long with the cash from online sales, but now they need money to expand. In any other business, an unqualified 24-year-old asking for half a million pounds would be laughed at. Age almost doesn't enter into it. It's, it's uh, enthusiasm of the management team, it's experience. We've got 15 months' experience running an internet company, which is, which is quite quite a lot in, in this time. Although they're chasing a market that's potentially worth a billion pounds, money's not their only motivation. Obviously we're all, well, if it works, all be going to become very wealthy and, and be sorted for life, but uh, that's, that's so much less important than being in charge of our own existence, having to answer to no one. Absolutely spotless yesterday. I mean, in one day, they really managed to wreck it. 